on behalf of our four guild chapters, that would be Ames, Newton, Indianola, and Des Moines, uh, we're pleased to welcome you here to the Des Moines Arts Center this afternoon for what is our fifth, I think our fifth in a series of joint previews that we've done starting in the year 2011. Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I begin a little bit this afternoon by talking about some things that are upcoming here with the Opera Company. Uh, I do that not because it's my podium here today, uh, but I'm sure Christina won't mind if I steal a few minutes here to talk to you about some things that are happening. Uh, and we do have a lot of new uh, printed materials and information and events coming up, so I wanted to draw those to your attention. Uh, you can get them uh, at the entryway on your way out the door. Uh, hopefully you received the latest edition of Vivace, our newsletter, uh, in the mail. If you didn't, please pick one up. If you'd like to take an extra one for a friend, uh, please do that as well. Uh, on Tuesday night, uh, we have two events actually on Tuesday night. Uh, those of you who are inclined to attend DSM unveilings, uh, will be interested to know that the latest edition of the magazine features a really extensive spread on the costumes and the design process uh, for our upcoming season uh, as, as a big spread in the interviews with some designers and things like that. So uh, it looks to be a very interesting spread. The people at DSM Magazine tell us it's beautiful, so if you're inclined to go and want to get an early copy of that, uh, that's at uh, 6 o'clock at Audi on Merle Hay Road. And then later on that night, we have a recital at 7.30 p.m., so you can go from one opera thing to the other. Uh, 7.30 p.m. at the Cathedral Church of St. Paul on High Street, uh, Sidney Moncasola will be singing a recital uh, of uh, operatic standards, art songs, and popular favorites. You remember Sidney from last year, she sang the uh, role of Comtesse Adele and the Comte de Rie, had a spectacular success. This is an artist on the rise. And I will just give you a little bit of a hint that we have big plans in the works for her in the future. Uh, so we hope that you'll come on Tuesday night to hear her program at 7.30 at the Cathedral Church. Uh, also, interesting piece on the, the uh, uh, stand up there at the entryway is uh, a piece produced today by the Convention and Visitors Bureau uh, of, of Greater Des Moines, uh, featuring the Des Moines Arts Center, Des Moines Metro Opera, and Des Moines Performing Arts that is uh, about 70,000 uh, printed copies that are inserted in the New York Times in Minneapolis, Chicago, uh, St. Paul, uh, St. Louis, and Kansas City. Uh, we had a few extra copies of that if you'd like to see it, but it's a wonderful opportunity for us to be featured alongside those other organizations in an event uh, magazine that's going out today. Um, staging Connections. This is a series of events that we have created for uh, by, to connect the themes of our season to various other disciplines and connected medium across the city. Uh, this is the first of those events where we're talking about themes and, and uh, uh, designs, prelude, uh, for previews for our upcoming season. Uh, today talking about Yenifa. Uh, if you'd like to get a card, maybe you got it in the mail already. If you didn't, there are some up at the stand. We have a, some fantastic events coming up besides this one on, on May 14th. We are showing a connection to the abduction from the Seraglio. Uh, at the Fleur Cinema, you can see the director's cut version of Wolfgang of, of, uh, Amadeus, about Wolfgang, of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, uh, which features the abduction from the Seraglio. It's going to be fun. If you haven't seen that in a long time, like me, you'll enjoy seeing that. Uh, on May 17th, in preparation for our production of Rappuccini's Daughter at the Botanical Garden, uh, they will be bringing in an ethnobotanist to discuss uh, poisonous plants and medical uh, discoveries from plants, which I think is a nice connection to that and a nice chance for you to see the, the new Botanical Garden facility. And if you're so inclined, if you'd like to hear more about Yenifa, you can travel on June 4th to the National Czech Slovak Museum and Library. We'll be doing a presentation with Christine, uh, with David Neely, with some of our principal singers, and with Clara Moldova, who comes to us uh, as an instructor for Czech language and literature from the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Chicago uh, for Czech learning. Uh, so hopefully you'll enjoy attending some of those events. If you want more information, please pick that up at the door. And now comes the part that I really want to talk to you about, which is to tell you how excited I am about the upcoming season. Uh, the three shows that we have on the main stage festival season are fantastic, exotic, different, and uh, fun for me to be able to produce. Uh, one of the things that I enjoy most is casting, and I can't tell you when I've been more excited about a collection of voices than we have across three operas uh, than this particular season. Uh, we open up uh, the season with a, a colorful and beautiful production of Mozart's The Abduction from the Seraglio, uh, featuring a cast of people that I'm, I, I don't think I've ever been more excited for the collection of a cast as I have for that piece. Uh, wonderful voices, wonderful artists uh, making their debuts with us. Uh, the Girl of the Golden West, Puccini's Western, with three wonderful voices, Alexandra Lobianco, a wonderful dramatic soprano, making her debut with us in that particular role. 
and Yennefa, which has, uh, I mean, what can you say that could be better than a cast that includes Sarah Garland, Brenda Harris, and Joyce Castle? It's nothing better than that. So uh, you'll enjoy those three operas. We have Rappuccini's Daughter at the Goethe Bernoin Botanical Garden, and uh, tickets are going fast, so don't wait to get yours. And now it's my pleasure to introduce our speaker this afternoon. Uh, Christine McIntyre, her biography is in the program for you so that you can read that. It's an impressive and, and amazing biography. Um, I'm pleased to say that she has had five productions, five new productions with us since her debut here in 2011, starting with, uh, you can see some of the pictures over there, Puccini's Boheme in 2011, uh, Tchaikovsky's Eugene Onegin in 2012, Benjamin Britten's Peter Grimes in 2013, uh, and Dead Man Walking Last Summer by Jake Hagee. Uh, her productions have been acclaimed, uh, original, and uh, in incredibly fun to be around as we prepare them. Um, I, there are many things that I have to do on a daily basis that are, are fun, and some things that are not so fun. Uh, it's all part of the job, but one of the things that I think is the most fun, and one of the things that in the years that I've been doing this position that's given me uh, some of the most immense pleasure is the process of putting together a new production with Christine over these years. This is the fifth one that we've done, and uh, the, the process is, is edifying, and interesting, and uh, inspiring, and uh, lifts us up out of, the, out of the drudge of the everyday sometimes, and takes us to uh, other planes, and I enjoy our conversations very much. I know that you will uh, enjoy what she has to say today about this fantastic opera by Leos Janacek.